Well, great morning, everyone. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, but I've been watching a cut above and um, the designers, just watching them grow um, has been amazing, especially Esther. Oh my God, her last collection that she's getting ready to do, I'm just at the you know, I haven't seen them do the runway yet. They're just starting to set up the pop-up stores. I love her aesthetic now that she's blossomed them out. And, and it's just, you know, her hard edge before, I was like, hmm. But now that she softened it up and hungry for life, that, that outfit she did out of forks and spoons, and I, I would totally wear it. <laughs> I would totally wear some of her clothes now. Oh, uh, she's she's fabulous now. Now I haven't seen Johnny's stuff and I haven't seen uh, the other guy's stuff. You could tell I'm not as impressed with his. His has been a little bit, I don't know, kind of far out strange stuff. Although he's really um, improved again too. Um, so it's anyone's game at this point, but it's a great show. I have been really enjoying watching it. I'm gonna get a little bit, but it's starting to warm up out there already. So um, can't keep it open too long. I found out yesterday if I just keep the curtains closed and keep the AC running, um, then it stays okay in here past 90 something. <laughs> Otherwise, it could get pretty warm. Anyway, um, other stuff going on. Gallup. I didn't know this was so bad up there uh, because I don't have a TV. So, uh, you know, not everything pops up when you do the YouTube. Um, but I just saw today where they're closing Gallup totally down. <clears throat> I'm still trying to see if I can get a hold of someone there to send the masks. I have uh, 50, 60 masks here, which I know they could use. So I'm trying to see if I can get a hold of somebody there to uh, get them to them. Because um, the whole town is quarantined. You can't go into Gallup. That makes me sad because it's one of my favorite places to go and to shop and, and um, I just saw the thing on this one girl, beautiful girl, died at 28. She's got little kids and she was like Miss Navajo or something like that it was. I forget exactly what it was. It's just so sad. And then I see, you know, on the thing, these kids in South Florida, so cavalier. Well, so if I get corona, I get corona. I'm going to go party. They don't realize that this can be a death sentence. Okay. They're so out of touch. And it's just, it, it just makes you like, oh, <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> You'd like to strangle somebody, you know, trying to get everything open and then these kids and they just have no freaking clue how bad this is. You know, did the cards and this opening now is going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare. Everything is going to spike. And day by day, Trump is losing what little mind he has left, okay? Um, and the reading yesterday, Pence is just sitting on the fence. He doesn't want to be disloyal. He doesn't want to do the article because if it fails, he knows Trump will come after him big time, okay? If it fails, and I think that's his sticking point. Um, you know, nobody can think he's sane, okay? Nobody that works around there and sees him on a daily basis can really think this man is sane. But I think that he's worried that um, 
Trump will come after him if it doesn't go through. But Lord have mercy. There are so many deaths and they can't even, they, they, they can't have funerals for them. The, the mortuaries are overrun. They're trying to find ways to keep the bodies from decomposing so they can get to them. It's just, the whole thing is just getting crazy. The one good thing is life is eternal. I mean, the, <clears throat> the ones that are leaving, they're on the other side and they're okay on the other side, unless they're really attached to something here. Really, really attached. And then you have a ghost situation, you know, some of their energy doesn't want to leave or whatever. It's, you know, it's a really strong emotion when you're leaving. If you have a really strong emotion or you, you're maybe, you know, really sometimes angry state and then all of a sudden you're out of your body so quick <clears throat> they're still stuck in that okay <clears throat> may not realize that they're dead and still fighting against whatever they're fighting against or you know this long um sometimes the women that are waiting for some guy to come and uh you know, they die or commit suicide, whatever, and they're still waiting for this person. I mean, you get those, you know, the ghosts are from really usually a strong emotion or just not realizing that they're out of their body. They're no longer, you know, no longer in this plane. They should move on. Um, so they sometimes they get stuck as well. Um, that's like when I was doing the readings with uh, Siddhananda, we counsel those that are, you know, still stuck. And we had ones all the way from um, the Mayan times. Um, from that time, they were stuck. I mean, that's, you know, a thousand years ago, and they've been stuck in that energy. Um <clears throat> So, I mean, that was good when that was going on. We helped some of them to move onward. Um, some actually went to realization and some of them were just, <laughs> I just keep remembering this one sadhu who thought he was all that in a bag of chips. I mean, he really thought he was powerful Nobody could tell him anything. He was going to come and show us. And we turned him on to Big Baba Light. <laughs> this poor little sadhu didn't know what hit him. It was... <laughs> so, no, it was good. We worked on the other side with, you know, with Christ, with Mary, with uh, um, some... Himalayan masters is still in body. There was one female that's also still in body up in the Himalayas we were working with. Um, and they helped to, you know, which, whichever, we wanted to find out where they were connected to in their spirituality or religiosity as the case may be. You know, if it was Hindu, we would set them up with one of the Himalayan masters. If it was Christian, we'd have Christ or Mary come in and, to work with these people. Um, <clears throat> and I'm really happy to say uh, that most of them uh, moved on and um, really had some growth in their spiritual uh, happenings and stuff. So that, you know, that time came and went and we worked with uh, 50, it was over 50, 50 beings that were there. Um, yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> Some of them came in and were really, you know, just wanting to move forward and some thought they were going to disrupt things. And, you know, you still have all the same personalities on the other side. And uh, so you never know what you're going to come up with. Um, <clears throat> but uh, 
yeah, it was interesting. It was a very interesting time doing that. But again, that time has passed, and um, I never know what's going to come next. You know, I wasn't expecting the Tarot stuff, but all of a sudden I just decided I was going to do Tarot and open the channel, and, you know, off it went. And uh, so for now, um, I'm enjoying the Tarot. I gave 20 years of teachings on my other channel of spiritual spiritual teachings. 20 years of it I gave, and I said, you know, I, I really can't think of another subject to give a teaching on. So now it's my time to play Leela, Leela, or the play of, they call Leela is the play of God. So, you know, I've given back to society. I did my 20 years of teaching from 1999. Okay, I did my, my 20 years of teaching, and now it's time for me to play. So I opened the Tarot channel, um, which I've been enjoying doing this. So I never know what's going to come up in my life next. You know, I did the flute, and I've got some recordings. I'm looking forward to doing more recordings, but I really need to get in the house first uh, before I can do that. <laughs> This does not lend itself to to that um, to doing that. Oh, I was going to show you my little plant. Oh, if, if I can get it, it's, it's look at here. It's getting new leaves. Look at that, my little plant. This is the one that had so many flowers on it. So I do have my little living plant here, and. Uh, yeah, it needs a little water today, but I'm so glad to see it's got lots of new leaves coming up, and it did have one area, oh, here, looks like we're going to get a little flower thing here, and there's some more coming out over here, little flowers that are trying to come out, so, um, so far I've done well with my little plant. I haven't killed it. <laughs> I, I would love to be able to do plants, but I really, I have a black thumb when it comes to doing plants. Some people are so good with plants, but I don't know whether I just, if it's been overwatering or what. I think that's what it is. Sometimes I overwater them and then they kind of like drown and <laughs> die on me. But so far, this one's done really well. I'm so happy to have a plant in here that's a living, you know, living thing. Um, and I couldn't believe all the little leaves that are starting to come out now. Mm, so, loving that. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on here. But yesterday, I found out if I kept all the things closed, I can't leave this open for too long because otherwise it really heats up in here. It's like a magnifying glass if you keep it open during this time of really heat in the 90s, 93, 96. You know, it's going to get up to 98 one day. Um, so I really need to keep things closed so it doesn't get too hot in here to uh, cool it down. So that's what's going on here. So I'm going to close this off now, light up my sage so I can sage it in here this morning and do a morning read. But right now, at the moment, I'm going back to watch the, uh, what was it, uh, making the cut. I want to see the collections that they're getting in their pop-up store really excited to see what they have but like I said you know Esther the one that's from Germany Berlin um, and I haven't seen Johnny's and I haven't seen the other guys yet um, I usually like Johnny's stuff but this like I said this last one I saw she had this skirt or something on with the tool and there was a, a top I would have totally wanted any of those. <laughs> you know? 
and she's blossoming out. It just like all of a sudden there was, she did that gold dress, bought that gold, and then after that she was off and running. I mean, really it was like a change, just a switch was flipped with her. So, wow. I think she's got really a ton of potential to go forward and uh, will be, become a big name designer. So really looking forward to seeing what she's going to do. Very cutting edge, but uh, she's softened her look. It was too extreme before, you know, I wouldn't have worn it. It was like, you know, wearing your armor or something, you know, um, no softness to it. But this, now that she's softened it up, killer good <laughs> and Johnny has made a lot of things you know like I saw just uh, he's doing some dresses he's doing jewelry he's doing you know a lot of different things um, so we'll see how he does and then the other guy he's really trying to tone his stuff down and he, you know he went into that one thing and when he was going to do the uh, t-shirt well I'll just do it you know if that's what they want I'll just do it I'm not happy about it you know, he was just grousing and grousing and grousing and then when he did that and people loved it his attitude changed <laughs> it was a big attitude change for him to come to a midpoint you know, you can't be on the extreme thing all the time. Who's going to wear that? Okay. Yes, okay, it's it's interesting. But nobody's going to wear some of what the stuff he was doing. Like a dress on a dress, that thing coming down. was just, you know, it's bizarre. <laughs> but now that he's come kind of midpoint, uh, now he's got, you know, sellability. And so that was a game changer for him. So everyone, you know, and Johnny too, his, his thing has become softer as well. He wore that as like a body armor to, you know, keep people, I'm tough, keep the people away and try to set up this false persona. And so now it, again, also he's come to a softer point. So. Really, at this point, it could be anybody's game. But, um, yeah, it was really fun to watch them. And it was only in the very last things that they finally got it. Um, total changes. Wow, 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 wow. Can't wait to see it. So I'm going to go now because I want to watch the last part. <laughs> this and then I'm going to get to my daily read and then I'm going to see if I can shush out the uh, try that phone number again to try to get a hold of the Navajo thing and find out where I could get those masks to because um, they desperately need need that stuff there so anyway I'll see you online thanks for tuning in